Hi, I'm Brianna, and I chose to do my project on citrus fruits. So getting started, the first activity we did was language. Um, most of these activities I did with a group of about 10 kids ranging between age two and four. Um, so for language, we did a taste test of lemons and mandarins. So I began it by asking, I wonder what lemons and mandarins taste like. Um, and then they all had a seat at the semicircle table they ate lunch at, and they had a tray and a napkin for easy cleanup, and just so if the fruit was too juicy, they could wipe their hands. Um, and then each of the children had a slice of lemon and a whole mandarin. Um, I honestly, I didn't expect them to eat the lemon. I thought they would all like maybe lick it at most because they all knew that lemons were sour. Like when I was asking them how do lemons taste before we even did the taste test that most of them were like oh it's sour and I was like well do you like sour and they're like no but they really enjoyed it actually um and so behind me on the wall I had a big piece of paper to document their feedback and um whichever one they liked more and so one of the kids ate oh, most of them ate the entire slice but one of them said it's sour and he like, had the biggest smile on his face another one said i really 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 like lemons um and then next they ate the mandarins they all for the most part liked the mandarins more even though they really liked the lemons but they all like the mandarins more because they're sweet um and then when we finished that activity I had them each throw their napkins and peels into the compost bin and wipe, spray their trays with soapy water and wipe them down and put them back where they go. Um, and then moving on to our math activity, which directly relates to language, um, we did a poll before and after the taste test of which one they thought they were going to like more and then which one they ended up liking more. So I asked them, I wonder which citrus fruit everyone likes the most. Um, and they all started shouting out which one they wanted, talking over each other. So I kind of just called them each one by one to tell me which one they liked more. Um, <clears throat> and then I wrote it down next to their name on a large piece of paper. And then we counted how many people liked lemon more and then how many liked orange more and wrote it down. And the result before the taste test was four thought that they were going to like lemon more and six thought they were going to like mandarins more. Um, and then after the taste test, I we did the poll again and I asked them again who liked lemon more and who liked mandarin more. The results were pretty similar. Um, it just changed from four lemon to three lemon and seven um, mandarin instead of six mandarin. So only one child changes their opinion. Um, and then I hung the paper up on the wall so they could see it um, for the rest of the project. And then moving on to art, um, to set it up, I put a bunch of different art materials on table. So I put um, some watercolor palettes and some cups of water and paint brushes, um, some glue, some paper scraps in different colors, um, some pom-poms, some regular paints, um, and some markers. And then the kids came over and sat at the table and I said, I wonder if any of you have seen a lemon or orange tree before? And they all started excitedly telling me about how they all have lemon trees in their backyards or orange trees. Um, and then I told them that we were gonna do a project where we created our own lemon or orange tree. And I told them they could use whatever materials they wanted of the variety. They could mix and match if they wanted to. They didn't have to stick to one. Um, and they all kind of picked different supplies and then started working. They were really excited. They focused for a pretty long time. Like, I feel like usually when they do art, because they do tend to do a lot of the construction paper, cutout, glue art, they don't really, they're not engaged, but they were pretty engaged with this. Um, and one of them said, I'm putting a rainbow around mine. Um, this one ended up, he also put a rainbow after the other child said that. And he added a redwood tree to his and some storm clouds. And she decided to put all of her lemons and oranges at the top out of pom-poms. Um, 
And then, yeah, there was about 10 kids that did this one. They all did very different creations. It was really interesting seeing how the two-year-olds made it compared to the four-year-olds because I feel like the four-year-olds had a better concept of, like, how to make it actually look like a tree. Um, but, yeah, after we finished, after they finished their artwork, they all kind of finished at different times, but I had them put away whatever supplies that they were working with, and then we put their art into the drying rack. And the next activity is social circle. So we begin, most of these activities were done in the afternoon, um, like around pickup time. So that's why I only had 10 kids to work with because most of them are already getting picked up. So for social circle, we did it during their story time um, in the evening. And <clears throat> I asked the kids, I wonder how an orange grows. And then they told me their different theories. Um, one of them said, first you plant a seed, then you water it, and it becomes a tree with fruit. And then another one added to that and said, yeah, but it takes a long time before it turns into a tree. So then we read the Seed to Plant book by National Geographic. Um, and we stopped between each stage to discuss what they thought was going to happen next. Um, it had a lot of good vocabulary words like seedling, pollination, roots, and flowers, and everything. Um... And then once we finished, I asked them what they thought of the book. And one of them said, I like the part where it became a tree. And then another one said, I read that book before, so I knew it was going to happen. And then after, they got up to play a board game. Um, so then stemming from that activity, the next day, we went outside. And I said, I wonder if we can grow our own lemon trees. Um, I then explained that we will be planting some lemon seeds. So I had a big bin filled with soil, um, and they each got a pot to plant their seed in. They were all kind of different pots, if you can't, the pictures are kind of hard to see, but yeah, they all had different pots. Um, and then I gave them three seeds to plant their pots in. Um, I didn't really tell them, like, how exactly to go about it. I just kind of let them explore how, to, how they wanted to do it. So some of them put their seeds at the bottom and then added the soil on top. Some put, put soil first and then put the seeds in. Um, and then one of them said, these seeds are so small, but then they'll be big trees. Um, and after they were done planting, they watered their seeds with the watering cans that we have in the yard. And... They each got a popsicle stick with their name on it to put in their pot so we could keep track of each one's growth. Um, and then they went inside to wash the soil off their hands and transition to snack time because we did this during nap time. The ones who didn't nap went outside and did this. Um, they really liked that activity too. They thought it was pretty fun. Honestly, most of the seeds didn't really grow after that. So... Yeah, some of them kind of became little seedlings, but most of them didn't really grow. I don't know if it's because we didn't have them in, like, the proper lighting or if they weren't getting watered enough or what, but, yeah. But overall, um, this was really fun. The kids really liked it. They were really engaged in it. I think I'd probably do this again with, like, a different topic just for fun, just for the kids. Um, yeah, that's my project.